at the center of the great forest, on an island in the sky. The crow, deer, and wolf clans have been training three fearsome warriors from infancy for one purpose, to protect and serve the goddess of Estra. Uh, so how exactly are we going to do that? Protecting the goddess, I mean. Ugh. Fran lies down. Uh, Laika can't answer because she's too busy sniffing both your butts. <gasps> okay, back off, Wolf Clan. This disturbs me, uh, but not to worry, I will instantly repress it. These are the guardians of the goddess. Laika, the tiefling paladin who hails from the Wolf Clan. Nobody's touching one beautiful hair on the goddess's head as long as I'm around. Corbin, a human druid from the Crow Clan. Human! I'm a crow! And Fran, a water genasi wizard of the deer clan. So, like, is there a way to quit this job or what? This unlikely trio will venture forth into an unfamiliar world without knowing who can be trusted against the powerful dark force stalking the steps of their goddess and threatening the future of their world. Tune in every second Monday to Dames and Dragons, a 5th edition D&D actual play podcast. See you then! Welcome one and all to Merely Role Players, where theatrical people play role-playing games. Uh, I'm your host, Matt, and this episode we're going to focus on Mr. Starkey. Hello. Uh, how, we, we've called you, we called you Mr. Starkey in The Clouds Keeper's Captain. Mm-hmm. We called you Mystic Starkey in Parallax. <laughs> how would you like to be referred to... There's, there's, you're the only Chris at the table today, so you oh, can be Chris true. if you prefer. Um, I think it would be a bit weird to be called Chris. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Uh, I'll leave it to the group. The group can decide. Mm. Well, you've written Starkey on your sheet, so mm. I'm going to call you Starkey because that's what it says on your sheet. <laughs> sure. Okay. Well, maybe it's kind of reflective of, you know, the, the deserted island, so you're just Stark. <laughs> you, could, you, could be, you could be the Stark. Maybe that, maybe that, Stark. Maybe that is my, that's my stage name. Oh. Stark. Can you please welcome to the stage St- Stark? <laughs> Stark in on that Game of Thrones yes. uh, love. Yes. Well, let's. Yes. Shall we talk in that case about what what is your role in the variety performance aboard the cruise ship? Um, I am the musical entertainment. Okay. I am a crooner, um, often found uh, in the restaurant, singing along with the uh, the keyboard. Um, <laughs> oh, it's a keyboard. Not yeah. Piano. <laughs> yeah. Do you play the keyboard? No, 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 no. I have, I have a, I have a keyboardist. Their name is Clive. <laughs> what does Clive look like? <laughs> Stark. Clive loves his life. He's a, he's a happy-go-lucky sort of sort of fellow. He um, was. He was a happy-go-lucky. He was. <laughs> and he and I have um, been together for a very long time. Oh. He is the love of my life. <laughs> And he and I have toured the world, and we've recently joined Blackshaw, um, and we're, we're just about to retire together. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our last ever cruise, and we sing, we sing beautiful melodies together, and, and we often, when he can just play the right hand melody, we hold hands together as we sing, and, uh, and we're looking forward to um, spending the rest of our lives together. That's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure that's going to play out really well for yeah. you guys. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that, that's that's me. Natalie is all literally in tears <laughs> right now for the I benefit know of the. I laugh. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> so you're laughing at my yes. unhappiness. Yes. <laughs> Potential unhappiness. <laughs> Thanks. Clive is turning in his watery grey. <laughs> we haven't got there yet, but we're getting there. <clears throat> Let's do stats. <laughs> yes. So you've got uh, instinct, intellect, and resolve. You're going to have a plus one, a minus one, and a zero. Uh, everybody else gets to pick. Uh, what do we think Starkey's stats should be? Mm. Or, or Stark stats for Stark. Stark. The incredible Stark. No, that sounds like a magician. Uh, you, I'm going to say you are a clever chap, but I'm going to give you. I'm, I think you should get a zero for intellect. 
think you should get a plus one to instinct. So you are I quite see. a wise old owl. Yeah, I'm old man stalking. <laughs> You're always old man stalking. Oh. See, I, see, I was thinking plus one to resolve. Because it's quite stoic. He doesn't... Is if that... something comes along that is a challenge to him, mm. he, will, he just... Keeps mm. going. Yeah, that's true. And then would he be the nat- resolved? Would he be the natural born leader in that case if he's showing leadership initiation? Mm-hmm. Well, there is that kind of that performer's instinct element going on. Yes. I was leaning towards instinct, but I like can captivate a crowd. Mm. There is that. There is that. That, just, that. that is very true. That could be resolved, though. Maybe I don't know. I, I think instinct should be the plus one. If everybody's, oh, if, ha- if, if everybody's happy with that, yeah. Just if you're go. both on instinct plus mm-hmm. one, I will not argue. And then you will not. Rock the boat. <laughs> well done, Matthew. Well done. But then the other two. I mean, what do we think? You're, you're, you're right. I mean, you are a clever chap, but then you are also very charismatic um, at the same time. So um, I, I would go down the resolve zero intellect minus one. Okay. So maybe, that's, obviously, it's up to you guys. But that, that, if you don't do that, I'm going to change it to that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so maybe, well, maybe during the wreck, you took a nasty bump to the head, and that left yes. you uh, a little stupider than, than usual. <laughs> yeah, intellect isn't intelligence; it's mm. forward planning. Fair, yeah. For this game, I've been stuck on a cruise ship all my life. <laughs> There's not been a huge amount of forward planning, except for the last six months, of course. Mm. The Which retirement, beautiful. Where yeah. we planned. We planned. So why don't we go minus one to intellect and zero to resolve? Mm-hmm. Sounds good to me. Boom. And uh, I assume you don't want to swap any of those? No. no. Lovely. So, you get a special skill or move, mm-hmm. and you get an element. Sure. Uh, what would you like to have? Uh, I would like to be able to influence animals. Ooh, okay. Um, to try and uh, maybe protect us from nasties, or to encourage friendly little yeah. critters. Defuse situations where maybe you're being threatened by a predator. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and I'm going to... To attempt that. And what about an element? What about a situation in which you always have a plus one bonus? Well, as I'd like to influence animals, Matt, I'd like to have a plus one when facing animal danger. Okay. Yeah, so when the group or you personally are in danger specifically from wildlife, Mm -hmm. yeah, you are good at facing that. Absolutely. I've got it sorted. (laughs) Yeah, so you're gonna be the you're gonna be the one hunting down all of the, the creatures and critters or not necessarily hunting down but inter- mm. doing all the interaction with yes. the creatures and critters of the island yes I think that's fair enough to say you'll work quite nicely with Natalie then because if she's going to be tracking she'll find them and then run away and you can like, <laughs> attempt to I'll like, set them up you knock them down I could lure them with with a beautiful song <laughs> <laughs> you can do the traditional like Disney princess singing in the morning with yeah, all your yeah. nice little yeah. birds oh. <laughs> getting you up in the morning <laughs> they can braid your hair make your breakfast <laughs> 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 they, yes, they could peck my bald head. Break <laughs> your beard, perhaps. Yes, yes. polish your paint. Mm. Yes, they yeah. could depends how long you're on the island, doesn't it? You might end up with oh, more, yeah. more beard. Mm. That's true. Yeah. Got, <laughs> I don't want to leave. I'm getting more hair. I might turn the birds into a beard. <laughs> <laughs> they hang off each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a strange image. Well, oh, thanks, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're very ready to be cast away. Absolutely. Bird, beard and everything. (laughs) Off we go. (laughs) You've been listening to Merely Role Players. In this season... Vicky, Dave, Ellen, Alex, Nat, Strat, Starkey and Josh all play themselves, sort of, in a game designed and run by Matt. Like most of our games, this one's powered by the Apocalypse. You can find more games in this genre at apocalypse-world.com slash pbta. If you enjoy the programme, let us know with a review or rating on Apple Podcasts, Podchaser, Listen Notes or wherever you do your listening. You can also find us on Twitter at Merely Roleplay and at facebook.com slash Merely Roleplayers. Merely Roleplayers is an independent production in association with Blackshaw Theatre Company. Join us for more drama next episode. <laughs>